It's just that see, we ain't Tottenham there, they're in the second, do you know what I mean? Oh, they've got a lot of rabbit on they sit on the box down at the time. They keep saying what they're going to do to Millwall, so they get a taste of it before they come down here. Yeah. Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, like the video. Also, comment. Let me know your thoughts on the story. South Londoner, Ian Garwood, better known as Tiny, the Lion of Millwall, was considered a Tevis legend and one of the top people in the Millwall firm, and the Den. What made Ian Garwood so profound was he had been supporting Millwall from the late 1960s. Think about that, 1960s. In an era where from the outside looking in, Millwall Football Club was associated with the far right, St George flags, skinheads and chants of go back to where you came from. Now 6 foot 2 inches tall Ian Garwood, walked into the den and proclaimed himself a proud Millwall supporter, and he was welcomed, for the most part, with open arms. Forming part of the Camberwell crew, he was a regular drinker at the Orange Tree and Rose Pub, and was known to be useful in a scrap at both home and away games. Again, he was a terrace legend. Ian Garwood was known by several names. Tiny, the Lion of the Den, and also the Big Daddy of the Ground. He protected youths that wanted to watch the match and he also led into other firms that wanted to disrespect the Millwall name and its honour. So, in the 1960s, 70s, 80s and 90s, respect was a huge thing among football firms. Now, according to other firms like West Ham's IFC, Bill Gardner and Tottenham's Youth Army, they explained what separated the Millwall firm by the F Troop which later turned into Millwall's bushwhackers, apart from other firms, is they relished a scrap. They loved it. They welcomed it. They could be outnumbered, 12 to 300, police involvement included, but Millwall firm would target police dogs and police horses, not caring about the repercussions. Now, the F Troop were considered absolutely bonkers. They had no need to wear collars or wear steel toe cap boots. Now, the F Troop were nutters and self-confessed loonies. Their pleasures in life included drink, socialising with mates and watching their beloved football team at both home and away games. Anything else came from that was gladly met. Now Tiny was said to be part of the firm who travelled to the away game at Griffin Park to face Brentwood FC. Millwall vs Brentwood was one of the longest running cross city derbies. Now the November 6th 1965 match saw Dummy Grenade be thrown onto the pitch during the match. Now Brentford goalkeeper Chick Brody picked it up, inspected it, threw it from hand to hand and then tossed it back into his goal. Now police officer O'Connell did not know it was a shell of a grenade. He placed a bucket over it and then took it to the Brentwood police station where it was discovered as a dud. Now before the match Brentwood's firm, Ealing Road Army and Millwall F Troop and Bushwhackers had staged a stalemate. Outside the ground two pockets of men sized each other up chanted their war cries and then began to scrap. Legs, arms, head, bottles were used, even coins. Now rumours also suggested that Tiny was part of the 12 strong Millwall firm that confronted 125 West Ham fans. Ginger Bob said that he was at the forefront when he gave West Ham a speech, telling them, you know me, I'm Ginger Bob. I wasn't here earlier, but now I'm here. And if you want it, come over lads. Now according to the rumours, the 12 Millwall firm had their hands while the 125 West Ham firm were armed with tools. Now apparently, the 12 Millwall firm chased after the West Ham fans. They dropped their tools and sprinted off in the other direction. Now someone launched a petrol and the West Ham fans tripped over each other, dropping their tools in a pile while they tried to get away. And on another occasion, Charlton were away to Tottenham. Five minutes into the game, a dozen or so Millwall fans had went to the match and stormed the terrace. Tiny was said to be included. They bombarded 2,000 Tottenham fans. Now, three other Millwall fans, including Tiny, ended up in court. One Millwall fan ended up in hospital. Now, the national newspapers called the incident Terrace Rampage. Now, according to the F Troop, they says that the Tottenham firm always explained what they were going to do to Millwall. So, Tiny and his people. Like Mad Dog explained, they says they wanted to give Tottenham a taste of what they could expect. 
anytime, any place, anywhere. Now, just before Tiny passed away due to cancer, he had a growth at the side of his neck. While he was in hospital, he spoke to West Ham's Bill Gardner, and the both explained even though they were rivals, there was always that mutual respect between the firms. Now, Ian Tiny Gardwood passed away in 2012. Condolences. Stay safe. Safe.